Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy, and look what I've made today, guys. I have made pretzel bites with a beer cheese dipping sauce. Yum. These are not hard to make, and they're fun to make with kids. Who doesn't love pretzel? And dipping them in cheese is just amazing. So let me show you just how I made these. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you through how to make these delicious pretzel bites step by step, so stay with me. All right, I'll be using my KitchenAid mixer today, and uh, if you don't have one, you can use just a regular large mixing bowl. But I'm going to add two and a fourth teaspoons of a quick active yeast, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, and one and a half cups of warm water. Now this is not hot, it is warm. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes until that yeast activates. You should see it uh, start to bubble and get foamy. As you can see, the yeast has bloomed, so now I'm going to add six tablespoons of melted butter. And then I'm gonna start adding my flour. And I'm gonna start with four cups and I am using a high gluten flour. It gives a better elasticity to your dough. Uh, it gives a nice chew to your pretzel bites. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. Now I'm adding the salt after I add the flour. Uh, you don't want to add the salt in with your wet yeast mixture because it could possibly kill the yeast if it's added directly to the yeast. So I'm kind of using the flour as a little bit of a buffer there. So I've added my dough hook and I'm just gonna start to mix this together. All right, so you know that your, your dough is good when you mix your dough and it pulls away from the sides of the bowl uh, and it's basically you have a nice clean, a clean bowl it's not sticking to your fingers. Um, so that's what we've got here. So I know that my dough is good. So next I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of flour down onto my counter and I'm going to dump my dough onto my counter. So I'm going to knead my dough and I'm going to knead it for maybe, maybe five minutes till I have a nice smooth, smooth dough. And this will uh, give the dough more elasticity and allow those glutens to to activate and start to do their thing. All right, so my dough is looking good. It have a nice smooth surface. I have a nice spring. When I push my finger in, it springs right back. So yeah, this dough is is good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a large bowl with some nonstick spray. You can use vegetable oil if you want. And I'm gonna place my dough inside my bowl and then I'm going to cover my bowl. Now I like to set rising dough on top of a warm oven. I have my oven set at the lowest temperature that it'll go, which is like 170 degrees. And I'm just gonna put my bowl on top of my oven so that it can rise and it should take about an hour and it should double in size. So my dough has risen and it has doubled in size. So now I'm going to punch it down. And I'm going to uh, cut it into fourths. I'm gonna work with one fourth at a time. I'm gonna take the dough and I'm going to roll it out to a long rope. All right, so I have rolled my dough into a rope that is about the length of, might be a foot or so in length. And now I'm going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. All right, I'm gonna spray a baking sheet with some nonstick spray. And then I'm just gonna place my pretzel pieces onto my baking sheet. All right, I'm just gonna do the other three pieces of dough, rolling them 
out into a long rope, cutting them and placing them on my sheet tray. So my pretzel bites are all cut into bite-sized pieces and now the fun begins. I have a pot of boiling water and to that water I'm going to add a third cup of baking soda. Give it a stir to make sure that soda is dissolved in the water. All right guys, then I am going to begin to drop these pretzel bites into this boiling water and you will only need to let them boil for about 30 seconds or so. They don't, it doesn't take them long, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna be doing this in batches. That's good, I'm gonna remove these. And then I'm gonna place them onto a sheet tray I have over here lined with uh, aluminum foil and sprayed with nonstick spray. All right, second batch. So all my pretzel bites have been boiled in that soda water. And what boiling dough in soda water does is it produces a chewy inside and a golden crust on the outside. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one egg and two tablespoons of water and whisk this together. And then I'm going to brush them over the pretzel bites. Then I'm going to take some pretzel salt and sprinkle over top of my pretzel bites. All right, then I'm going to bake my pretzel bites in a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. So my pretzel bites just came out of the oven and oh, they look and smell delicious and I may or may not have a sampled one just saying, but now I'm going to make a delicious dipping cheese sauce for these pretzel bites. Yeah, I'm making a beer cheese. This is so delicious and flavorful. So let me show you just how to make it. To a medium size sauce pot, I'm going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter has melted, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to whisk this together. Now this creates a roux. I'm going to let this cook for just about a minute or so just to get out that raw flour taste. All right, next I'm going to add one cup of milk, and this is a 2% milk. And I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning. I have a fourth of a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. And then I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of salt. All right, then I'm going to add two thirds cup of beer. Now you can use your favorite beer or if you don't want to use beer, you can just use milk. But this really does add a lot of really good flavor to your cheese dip. And of course that alcohol will uh, burn out. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce one teaspoon of a Dijon mustard. All right, then I have a six ounce block of a sharp white cheddar cheese that I have grated. I'm going to add that and I'm going to add this slowly, just a little bit at a time, stirring after I add, add some. All right, next I have some sliced Gouda cheese. I could not find a block of Gouda. I could not find shredded Gouda. This was the only Gouda I could find. So I'm going to use uh, six ounces of the sliced Gouda. And sliced, sliced cheese melts really quickly, but I'm just gonna add one piece at a time. Now, if you want your cheese dip to be a little bit thinner, you can add a little bit more milk or a little bit more of your beer, just to thin it out some if you want. If you want it to be thicker, don't add as much milk or beer. But remember, as it cools, it will thicken.
All right, guys, these pretzel bites dipped in this beer cheese sauce dip, whatever you want to call it, is just delicious. And I love the fact that they're just bite size. So you can just pop them all in your mouth. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. And I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.